TV KPM SPM 22 students, give me a wave! That's right, hi everyone, my name is Chris MJ and you are watching Success SPM 2022 where we're going to discuss tips and strategies on how to score the best score you can get in SPM. And today, we are going to focus on Bahasa English. So, what are we going to learn today? It has something to do with once upon a time and happily ever after. But first, let's get to know today's teacher. That's right, my friends. For today's lesson, I have Miss Sim with me in studio. Hi, Miss Sim. How are you? Hi, Chris. Good. Yeah. How are you today? I'm, I'm doing very well and I'm happy that you're here with me. But it is not just the two of us, Miss Sim. Is that correct? Yes. You have brought some classmates for me as well online. Let's get to know them. Hi, everyone. Hi. All right, Miss Sim. Could you be so kind as to introduce yeah. my new friends for today? All right, sure. Okay, so today we have a few friends with us. Okay, let's have uh, Yu Ching. Ching, can you wave them? Hi. Yes, we have Yu Ching here. Okay. And next we have Lim Le Wei. Okay, hi Le Wei. Hi. Okay, next we have Lai Jun Wei. Jun Wei, can you wave them? Yes. Hi, and the last one we have Chia Yi Bun. All right, yes, hi everyone. So yeah. these uh, these students are from SMJK Yokwa in your Correct. school as well. Yes. All right, so without further ado, I'm sure everyone is ready to learn some new strategies yes. and tips on how to answer better in SPN 2022. But first, mm -hmm. I would like to ask you, what are we going to learn today, teacher? Um, today, we are going to learn about writing and how to write a story. Okay, yeah. how to write a story. A story. And Correct. do you have any slides for us today? Yes, sure. Okay, let's start now, teacher. Go okay. Ahead. So what are we going to focus on today? All right, okay. So today, we are going to focus on uh, writing. Okay, we're All going right. to learn how to write a story interestingly. Okay, so writing is also in our SPM triple one nine paper. Okay, English language, and it is in paper two. So okay. let's see where are we going to learn today. All okay, right. so before that, I'm going to introduce you the new format of the SPM paper because some of you may not be familiar with this format because it's very new. Okay, this is the format. Uh, starting from 2021 all right so if you look at this we have three parts for our writing paper okay so that means what that means you have to write three essays so for the first part we have short communicative message which means you have to write an email okay and for the part two we have guided writing and this essay is based on a discussion in class based on a topic that you are going to write Okay, and part three is an extended writing. Okay, you have a few choices for you to choose. So we have article or report. We have a review about um, magazine or books. Okay, and the last one is we have a story. Sometimes they give you a title. Sometimes they ask you to start or end a story with a given sentence. Okay, mm, so okay. today our focus will be focusing on story. story. Yeah, okay. we are going to learn how to write a story. Okay, next. So let's focus on this. So our main skill is writing and our sub skill is with, uh, speaking. And for the team, we have people and culture. Our language focus, we are going to focus on narrative tenses, language and expressions. And we also have linking words. All right. And besides that, for our learning standards, for the men's skill, we have uh, this writing 4.1.5. If you are wondering what is this, okay, we actually learn how to organize, sequence, and develop ideas within a text of several paragraphs on familiar topics. And then for complementary skill, okay, we are going to learn how to recognize with support typical features at word, sentence, and text levels of an increased range of generals. Okay, so if you do not understand what are those things, never mind, it's okay. You can refer to your Form 4 textbook, again, Full Blast Pass 4, on page 32 and 33, right? Okay. okay. So, our learning objective today, we have two learning objectives. So, for the first one, okay, the first one, we actually learn how to narrate events. That means we are learning how to tell a story 
okay, the events in that story, according to the plan that we uh, have the assigned, okay, or we have designed for it, and with a brief descriptions of actions or setting for each paragraph. Okay. Besides that, we also have this, uh, the second one, which is to link with support the reading text given in a writing task, which is in your questions paper, whether to start or end a story appropriately. And sometimes, like I say, they give you a title. But mm. today, we are focusing on how to start or end a story appropriately. All right. Okay. So, before that, Okay, let's have a little bit of warm up. All right. Okay, so what kind of words or what words would you use to describe the most dangerous situations you have ever been in? Okay, mm. so in your mind right now, okay, try to imagine the most dangerous situation you have ever been, okay? So try to think about it. If you don't have, that would be great, but then still you imagine that you are, okay? For example, you are in a dangerous situation right now. So what kind of word would you describe it, okay? So maybe we also can ask our friends here to help us um, or maybe they can share their opinions with us. Like what kind of words would they use to describe the most dangerous situation they have ever been? All right. Okay? Uh, so who should we ask first, teacher? Yeah, um, just uh, anyone would like to volunteer first? Yeah, you can raise your hands. Oh, okay, Chewing. okay. Well, okay, fast. Chewing. All right, Chewing, go ahead. And the word that I would use is are bloody, um, threat and also fire. Okay, oh. so bloody, threats, and fires, right? Okay, if you heard about the words bloody, right? Then yeah. you know it's like, um, something's wow, very so, dangerous, right? It's so, so gory, scary, right? So scary, Okay, yeah. thank you. How about another uh, pupils? Anyone? Yibun. All right, okay, Yibun. Yes, <coughs> yes, teacher. So I would use terror, terror, hazardous, and fearful. Mm. Hazardous and fearful. Okay, fearful, right? Yes. Okay, very scary. All right, nice. Jun Wei, all right, okay, Jun Wei. Yes, teacher, I would use death, panic, and chaos. All right, death, hmm, okay, panic and chaos, right, okay, good. How about the last one, right? Lo okay. Wei, right? Lo Wei, right? Oh, okay, yes. Go ahead, Lo Wei. Yes, teacher, I would mm -hmm. use unprotected, horrible, unprotected. and also emergency. Emergency. All right, thank mm. you. Yes, unprotected, you know, like horrible emergency. All these are referring to a very dangerous yeah. or terrifying situation, right? Yeah. Okay. I would, teacher, I would use, mm -hmm. you know, because my friends were sharing as well, and yeah. I think those watching at home, you can think of three words that you would describe in mm. a dangerous situation. For me, would be scary. Scary. Dark, mm -hmm. because you know, dark is yeah, I'm afraid right. of the dark. Yeah, right. And gloomy. Mm. So these are the three words. Yeah. Yes. So what is okay. the purpose of, of describing this word, teacher? Okay, so for, you see like, when we are trying to describe a situation, right, we mm. tend to use a lot of adjectives. Ah. So today, not only we are going to learn about adjectives, first, like I say, yep. we have to learn how to plan for that, okay, how to narrate the events. So we are going to use adjectives to narrate the events. I we are see. also going to use like some senses to help us. Okay. So all of those, we need to use adjective words. All right. right. Well, I am excited to learn more for writing a story. But first, yep. we will take a short break. Is that okay, teacher? Yeah, sure. Okay, and for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Success SPM 2022. I'll see you after this. KPM. Hi everyone, welcome back to Success SPM 2022 with me Chris MJ as well as Miss Sim and my classmates for today from SMJK Yoke Kwan. We have Jun Wei, give me a wave, uh, Chu Ying, Le Wei and Yi Bun. And today we are focusing on the subject of Bahasa Inggris, more specifically on the topic of writing a story. And in this segment, we are going to focus on a writing plan. Is that correct, Miss Yes, Sim? correct. Okay, over to you, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's uh, continue with the plan. All right, so when writing a story, okay, so when you are going to tell a story, Okay, you want to narrate the events. So here is the plan that you can use. Okay, first of all, we all know that for the first paragraph, we have to use introductions, right? That means we have to introduce. So what are the things that you have to introduce? So first, we have setting of the story. So you can introduce, for example, like time, place, weather, and etc. right? 
Okay, so for example, time, right? You can talk about last Saturday, and then if place, you can talk about in a cafe at a bus stop, and then if weather, you can talk about a sunny day, things like that, right? And besides that, you also need to introduce the main character in your story, right? So we are going to put the main characters here in introductions as well. All right. Okay. For the main part of your story, okay, roughly like two to three paragraphs. So you're going to talk about the events that happen in your story. You are going to talk about the actions that you have taken in the story, right? Or you are going to explain the plot of your story. Okay. okay. So for the conclusions. All right, you're going to explain what happens in the end. And also, maybe you can give a little bit of uh, comments or feelings uh, about that story or what have you learned from that story, things like that. Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper. So we look at these introductions. Like I say just now, for introductions, uh, most of the time students don't know how to start an essay, mm. especially when when you are uh, you want to write a story, correct? Okay. So how are you going to start a story? You can start with the settings of the story. This is very important because you want to let your readers know uh, what happened in the story. So you need to give them the informations about time, place weather or sometimes the background of the story for example the society the family background of the main mm. characters right okay okay so for characters you can talk about of course we need to introduce the name of the characters so that the reader can understand and they can remember who is in the story right or who are in the story and then we can talk about occupations their personality or we can talk about the appearance right but you are you no need to uh, put everything in your introduction it's not like okay teacher say we must put all this in so you just put squeeze everything in no okay you just select which ones you think is the most important information that you would like to include in your story okay okay so all right for this part Maybe you would like to know um, uh, in more details, like what are the examples you can give, okay, for your introduction paragraph, okay, what are the sentences you can write for your introductions, okay? So here we will ask our friends here, right? We have four pupils here in the mid, so we are going to ask them to give us some examples, right? On um, what are um, the sentences that we can use in our introductions. Okay, so anyone would like to try for a setting here? Anyone volunteer? Okay, Yibun. Yibun, yes? Yes, teacher. So mm -hmm. I would like to take the place. Place, So okay. for example, mm -hmm. I was in a cafe mm -hmm. located at the corner of the street. All right, thank you very much, right? So we know that you're actually at the cafe, the corner of the street, yes. All right, thank you. How about another pupils? Another? Right, chewing. Okay, chewing. Can you give us another example of setting? All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the nineteenth century, many European countries were competing for colonies. All right. Okay. You talk about the time. You mm. talk about the background. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now we move on to characters. Okay. Another two pupils. I would like you to give me some examples. Okay. Each of you just have to give me one sentence that talks about the characters in the story. All right. Um, John Wei would like to start first. Can or not? Junwei? Yes? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, Elsa was wearing a school uniform mm -hmm. and walking alone on the dark street. All right, so you introduced the character Elsa. All right, thank you. How about uh, Lowe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Kitty has a pair of gleaming jet green eyes, which make it such an adorable cat. All right, thank you. So for characters, not necessary. You have to use human beings. Sometimes you can use uh, an animal, right? Mm. Okay, so let's move on. So this is for the main part of the story, okay? When we are going to introduce uh, the events, we are going to describe the events, we need to use those adjectives. Or I put it here, okay, those five senses to make your stories more interesting, okay? So we have sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. All right, let's have a little 
uh, activity here, okay? A okay. small activity here. So what I would like you to do is you can take out uh, an Apple paper, right? A blank one. Or for my pupils here, they have their mini whiteboard with them. So what I would like you to do is you can use your left hand. You put on the paper there and then you sketch your hands, okay? You sketch your hand like this, right? For those... Uh, uh, left-handed persons, then you can use your right hand, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, you just okay. put your hand, your palms there, and then you draw it, sketch it. And then I want, I would like you to label it there. Okay, for the pupils here, you can do it as well, right? Right now, take out your mini whiteboard, and then you draw your hands, okay? And then, right, and then label it. Smell, hearing, sight, taste, and touch. We have these five senses with us. Then I would like you to label, after you have labeled it, I would okay. like you to write it down, the words. Okay, that you can think of for each sense, right? For example, smell. What kind of words you would use to describe sense? Uh, ah, smell, for okay. example, okay? So you can list down the words here, okay? So later we are going to uh, ask our pupils here, what are those uh, words that they have used to describe the senses here? Okay. Alright? Alright, so... Cool. So we have smell, hearing, sight, taste, and touch. Okay, pupils. Right? Are you ready? Yes? Can? All right. Okay. So, for example, yeah, let's say if you took a site, right? Sand, sites. Okay. You can write something like bus stop. What did you see in the story? For example, what do you want us to know about that? Right? For example, bus stop, school, at home, all right? Maybe at the corner, the, under the table, and things like that. Okay. So, uh, let's have one of the people here to give us the example. Anyone would like to try? The just, you just pick one sense, okay? You just pick one sense. Okay, chewing. All right, which sense do you want to choose? I like to choose hearing. Hearing, okay. So what are those words you can use? Um, it's crying. Crying. Gossiping. Mm -hmm. Barking. Mm -hmm. Quiet and also splashing. All right, thank you. Yeah, even quiet because they cannot hear anything, right? Mm. All right. Okay, you want to describe the situations. And uh, how about another pupil here? Yibun, all right, Yibun, which sense do you want to choose? Yes, teacher, so uh, this oh. is my wow. pen. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was fast. Okay. So, yeah. uh, uh, I would like to choose smell. Smell, yeah. okay. What, uh, what yes. words will you use? Uh, first, a pungent smell. Okay, and a pungent then smell. And earthy smell. Earthy smell. The third one is a burnt smell. Burnt smell. And the last one is a rotten smell. A rotten mm. smell. Yes, you see, we have pungents, we have earthy, you know. Yeah. It smells like the earth, or, you know, smell like the soil, yeah. right? Okay. Good, you very won't. good. Can I can I ask you to show your, your hand again because I want I want everyone to see it because yes. it's so excellent. <laughs> look 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 at my one, it's just a few only. <laughs> wow. <All right. laughs> so next. Alright, so we have examples here, yeah. right? We have the sides. Okay, you can um, not only you can talk about umbrella, you can also include the colour, right? What did you see? Right? Ah, For example, the red okay. umbrella, the yellow umbrella. Or we have like small bus stop, you know, the size of the bus stop. Okay, hearing, we also have noisy, whisper, and all these, you, you can know that like phones ringing, right? The things that you can hear. Okay, and then we have the smell here. We have sense of flowers, right? And then we have this uh, pleasant smell, the aroma of coffee, right? Okay, for test, we have all this, uh, for example, like, instead of just saying ice cream, you can actually say vanilla flavored ice cream. Uh -huh. It makes your story more interesting and we can also imagine that, oh, that is that tasty mm. ice cream that they have, right? The vanilla flavored. Alright, for touch, okay, you can talk about the hot green tea, then we know it is very hot. And then you can talk about like a soft bed, right? And things like that. Okay, and not only Okay, not only the five senses that we have to use in a story, okay, you also need to use these linking words, okay, to link your ideas and your story together. So what are those linking words? Okay, for example, for time, if you would like to tell other people about the time, okay, you can use like for example, before, as soon as, at first, at that moment, okay? And then if you would like to tell about a result or consequence, you can use so that as a result for this reason. Right? If you would like to explain a cause or reason, you can say because, 
as because of here I put a noun here because after of you have to use a noun okay because of these persons or if you have a verb you need to change it to a noun right and then to emphasize some things you need to use like for example you can use in fact actually as a matter of fact all these words are very important in your story yeah okay so now let's look at this right so we have those five senses just now we talk about those five senses which sense do you think is most commonly used in writing a story and why so maybe i will pick one uh, pupils yep. here okay right to share with us uh, which one is the most uh, commonly used that uh, he thinks he or she thinks about it all right so anyone here would like to try this question anyone junwei right. okay junwei what is your opinion in my opinion, mm -hmm. I think it's sight because I can describe the story with what I can see mm -hmm. and what I can mm -hmm. feel from viewing it mm -hmm. so that the reader can have the same feel as me as if they were at the scenes thus the reader can be more attracted to the story. Alright, I see. So he chose uh, sight, yeah? Mm. It all actually depends on the story, like what kind of uh, uh, the things that you would like to tell them. Alright, yeah. all thank you so much Junwei. Well, uh, there you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, pupils. For this segment, we focused on how to make your story more interesting yes, and using the five senses. Sight, right. hearing, smell, touch, touch and taste. Yes, correct. Right? So, but for now, we'll take a short break. Is mm -hmm. that okay, DJ? Yes. And for those of you watching, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here with Miss Sim for Success SPM 2022. We'll see you after this. KPM. Hi everyone, welcome back to Success SPM 2022 with me Chris MJ as well as Miss Sim and today we are focusing on writing a story for Bahasa Inggris which is in Paper 2, SPM Paper right. 2 for Part 3 and in this segment we'll be focusing on SPM writing test itself so yes. Miss Sim, right. over to you Thank you Alright, so let's look at this Okay, so we are going to focus on SPM format which mm. is in uh, paper 2, yeah? your SPM paper, paper 2 in this writing and part 3 where we were focusing on writing a story. Okay, so let's look at this, the format again. Okay, if you have the paper with you, you're supposed to see this in part 3, write an answers to one of the questions 3 to 5 in this part. Okay, write your answers in 200 to 250 words in an appropriate style on this question paper. Okay, so normally for this part, you have three choices for you to choose and you just have to choose one of them. Okay, for example, question three. We have a questions that ask you to write an article or a report. Questions four. Okay, we have a questions that ask you a, uh, to write a review of a book or magazine or movie. Or sometimes they can ask you to write a review uh, about... Um, a holiday destination, right? Mm, okay. okay. And then the last ones will be a story. Okay. So sometimes these sequence can be switched here yeah, in between that, but you just have to know there will be one questions that will let you write a story. Okay. So our focus today, writing a story. So again, these are the language banks, the words, okay, the phrases that you can use to express time or feelings let's go through one more uh, one more round before we get to the questions all right so we have the time right we have those words for feelings all right and then uh, if we like to explain the ways how you speak or how you think you can use all these words to guide you to help you with it okay because different words they have different meaning right okay it it can explain different way of speaking and we have those five senses again here. Yeah, you can use those words to help you in writing a story. So let's get to the questions. All right. So for example, we have these questions in, let's say, in your, uh, in your SPM writing test. So an international magazine has organized a short story competition and you have decided to enter. Right? The competition rules say that the story must end. Okay, this word is very important, right? Must end with the following words. They were lucky to be alive, right? Mm. So when you look at this sentence, 
what is in your mind actually, right? Because you want, you have to use this sentence to end your story. So you need to decide, okay, when you look at this sentence, you have to decide what kind of stories do you, uh, are you going to write? Okay, what kind of situations that you must write so that you can end with this sentence appropriately? Okay, maybe we can ask one of our pupils here, like uh, what kind of the story or what kind of situations that he or she may write in the story? Okay, so anyone would uh, here would like to volunteer? Oh, Lowey, okay. Yes? Yes, in my opinion, mm -hmm. the setting for the story is a right. uh, dangerous situation. A uh, what? A dangerous situation? Yes. Okay. All right, I think so. The mm -hmm. The yes. phrase lucky to be alive mm -hmm. uh, means that the characters in the story mm -hmm. have experienced something terrible, mm -hmm. but they succeed in escaping from it. All right, thank you so much. So the key words here are lucky to be alive, right? So we can think of some like uh, dangerous situations that you escape from it, right? And then you also have to look at the subject, okay? If you look at this, right, your story must include the first thing more than one person okay why because they use the pronouns they right ah, okay. yeah so you have to check always check your subject okay so has to be one uh, more than one person and then the words lucky to be alive it hands us it gives us the indications that it should be a dangerous situations all right okay let's move on to look at the sample essay okay we have the sample essay here it was cold, dark, and quiet for now. Terry and his brother, Phil, were sitting in the cabin, shaking with fear. Okay, it had been Terry's idea to spend the new year in the mountains. Terry got up quietly and glanced outside. When he looked at Phil again, he was so terrified he could barely speak. He held up two fingers and whispered, There are two of them! There was no hope left. Two polar bears would easily find a way in. Suddenly, Terry had an idea. He searched through his bag and removed a small box. Terry had some fireworks which he wanted to set off at midnight, but now was probably a better time. So he lit one and threw it outside. Okay, continue. Next, we have another paragraph. They held their breath. A moment later, there were long bangs and flashes of light which scared the polar bears away. They are gone, cried Phil. The boys were so relieved. The fireworks attracted some locals who took the boys to safety. They were lucky to be alive. Okay, so when we look at this sample essay, right? If you look at this sample essay, okay, we have five paragraphs here. Now we are going to analyze this essay, whether they, um, this writer and the story appropriately or not. Okay, so let's look at the questions now. Has the writer ended the story appropriately? Okay, using the words given in the questions. Okay, what tenses did the writer use throughout the story? What words or phrases did the writer use to link the ideas together? And also, you can try to underline or look at the words or phrases that show us how the characters feel in the story. Okay, so I'm going to ask my pupils here to answer each of the questions and let's check together, yeah, whether their answer is correct or not. All right. All right. So for the first questions, anyone would like to try here? Gibbon. Okay, Gibbon. What is your answer for the first one? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I think the writer has ended the story appropriately. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in his story, he mentioned about the dangerous situation which the two boys had encountered. Okay. For instance, he mentioned that two boys met two polar bears while they were in the mountains. And lastly, the boys were rescued by the locals. Mm. Apart from that, in paragraph two, the writer wrote some words like uh, they could barely speak and there was no hope left. These two words have proven that the boys had experienced a cheated death. All right, okay, so it means like it is a dangerous situation that they uh, managed to survive, so it's lucky for them, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, how about questions number two? Anyone here would like to try? Okay, Tring, what tenses did the writer use? I think the writer used a few tenses in this story. Mm -hmm. First, okay. the writer uses past tense. Past tense, okay, from where that you can see that's past tense. Yeah. Um, I found the word was and also got up in the story. 
Okay, was, got up, okay. Yeah, other than past then, any other tenses? I think the writer also uses past continuous tense. Okay, for example? Um, the words were sitting in the first paragraph. First paragraph, were sitting. Oh, okay. All right. Anything else? And the last is present tense. Present tense. Why present tense? Okay. In paragraph two, Terry whispered to Phil. There are two of them. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have past tense, past continuous. We have present tense here. Yes, of course. Yeah, correct. Okay, how about the third questions? What words or phrases did the writer use to link the ideas together? Anyone would like to try here? Okay, Lowy? Okay, what kind of words do you think the writer used? The writer uses a few linking words in okay. the story. Mm -hmm. For example, the writer uses uh, when in the when? paragraph 2. Paragraph 2, okay, when, when he looked at Phil. Okay, what else? Uh, the writer also uses suddenly, but, and so in paragraph 3. Alright, okay. Suddenly, something happened or he had an idea. But, okay. And also, so, okay, what is the, the next step? Yeah. Alright, sure. What else? Anything else? Uh, in paragraph 4, the writer used a moment later. Okay, paragraph 4 here. Alright, a moment later. Yeah, sure. Okay, correct, right? So those are the some of the examples that you can use to link your ideas together, like using the time expressions a moment later, right? Okay, how about the last questions, right? Any words or phrases that can show to us how the character feel in the story? Uh, anyone would like to try this? Junwei? Okay, Junwei, you haven't uh, got the chance, right? Okay, now it's your turn. Okay, what words? Yeah. Actually, there are a few words to sh show that the character feel terrified. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. dark, quiet, quiet, cold, okay. shaking with fear, shaking and with no fear. hope left. No hope left. Okay, right. Anything else you can give? Okay, yeah. never mind. It's okay. Right, we actually have more, right? Not only that, right? I'm going to show you the, uh, the answers, right? What are those, uh, uh, those words that can show to us the feelings of the writer. Okay, for example, like just now Jun Wei say cold, dark and quiet and shaking with fear, right? No hope left. We can also have the words like so terrified and barely speak. All these can show to us those are the feelings the writer have that time, right? So, and then we have this, finally they come to uh, a safety, right? They come to a uh, safer place. So, when they link Okay, when the writer used the last sentence, okay, this sentence to link it and then to end the story, it will be appropriate because the whole thing, the whole story that he created, okay, is in a dangerous situation, right? That the um, the characters has experienced. Okay, so. So that was yeah. a sample essay that we right. just looked at. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of those of you watching at home, you can actually refer to the sample essay in your textbook. Correct, teacher? Yes. Uh, correct. In your plus, uh, full plus plus four, yes, page correct. 33. Mm -hmm. And that's where we can do the analysis. Yeah. But right now, we're going to take a short break. If that's mm -hmm. all right, will you miss him? Yeah. And for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right here at Success SPM 2022. KPM. Hi everyone, welcome back to Success SPM 2022 with Miss Sim and my friends from SMJK Yoke Kwan Sekin Chan. Let's say hi to Junwei, uh, Lim Lewei, Yi Boon, and Chu Ying. They are my classmates for today. And in this segment, we are going to focus on SPM uh, to SPM writing, focusing on writing a story. Yes. And right. in this segment, we are going to actually write the story. Yes. Over correct. to you, Miss Sim. All right. Thank you. All right, let's continue with our lessons today. All right, so this will be another question, okay? For example, an international magazine has organized a short story competition and you have decided to enter. The competition's rules say that the story must begin. Okay, so this time you have to use it to begin your story with the following words, right? So, Susan will never forget what happened that day. All right, so if you have these kind of questions in your SPM paper, right, especially your writing paper, right, so what kind of story do you have to write, okay? What kind of story you need to write in your writing paper? Okay, so first, if you look at the words given here, Susan, that you must, then you must include the main character, Susan, all right, in this story, 
it is very important, right? And then another thing is if you look at the words here, never forget what happened that day. So it should be an unforgettable incident, right? That Susan, uh, Susan will never forget. Okay, so let's go back to the plan that I've just told you. Okay, so for example, in introductions, okay, we have to talk about the setting of the incidents. Okay, we have to introduce the main character, Susan. And in the main part of our story, we have to explain or give the um, uh, what we are going to include in that uh, story, right? So we can talk about the events or the situations that Susan have, right? And then we can also uh, have the plot of the story in it. And for the conclusions, we are going to end the story. You have to tell what happened in the end. And also we can have some comments or the feelings that maybe what Susan feel okay, at the end of the story, right? Okay, so let's go back to the questions here, all right? You have to begin. That means you have to start your story with this sentence. Susan will never forget what happened that day, all right? So, hmm, how are you going to write this story? How are you going to... Okay, continue with this sentence. So maybe we'll ask our friends here to help us, right, how to continue such a sentence. Okay, when you uh, listen to your answer, you can also try to identify what kind of situations that Susan have, right? Okay, um, so let's start with, maybe you can like just ask anyone here that anyone would like to start to give the uh, sample because this one actually is their homework, right? I have assigned ah. it homework for them at home. So um, we will like to see what will they have for their introductions, right? Okay, anyone here? Would like to start first? Anyone? Okay, even Okay, you may start first. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, so, I will write, Susan will never forget what okay. happened that day. All right. It was a sunny and cloudless afternoon. Susan was traipsing back home after having an exhausted day at school. Mm -hmm. She was walking through a street which she could never be more familiar with. Out of the blue, a group of people who gathered at the corner of the street caught her attention. All right, thank you, Yibun. Okay, so you can see that hmm, in this paragraph, right, this introductions paragraph, Susan was very tired, right? Mm. She just got back from the school. All right, okay, let's listen to another story and see is there any different, okay? Um, anyone here would like to try this? The next one? Okay, Trying. Okay, can you give us your introductions? What happened to Susan then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Susan will never forget what happened that day. Mm -hmm. She just passed the final examination with flying colors. Okay. She was in high spirits on her way home. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, she heard an extremely loud and unusual scream from the alley. All right. Okay. Thank wow. you. Right. So this time, Susan is not tired at all. Yeah. This time, she was so excited because she just passed the exam, right? Excellent. Mm. Right? With excellence. Okay. So. Let's see another Susan, like what Susan, what kind of Susan we will have, right? Okay, anyone here? Lowe? All right, Lowe. What happened to your Susan? Susan will never forget what happened that day. Mm -hmm. She was sleeping soundly as usual. Okay. And suddenly, she was woken up by the sound of crying. Mm -hmm. She jumped out of her bed mm -hmm. and realized that someone was lying on the floor. Okay, mm. so this time it's kind of scary, wow. no? Okay. Someone was lying on the floor, mm. right? So this Susan maybe will have something happen on that day that she will never forget what happened that day, yeah? Yes. It sounds like a bit closer, yeah, very close to the, the sentence there. All right, how about Junwei? What is your story? Susan will never forget what happened that day. Mm -hmm. Susan and her sister, Jenny, decided to go snorkeling. Okay. since the spell of rainy weather had broken. Okay. They told their parents about the plan and got their green light. Okay, so this time Susan got another company uh, to accompany her, right? Uh, Susan and her sister. Okay, so you can see that although we have the same sentence to start with, we can actually create different story, right? Just you have to plan what kind of situation you want this Susan to be in, right? Yes. Just that remember that this situation will be the situation that she will never forget. Right or not? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, 
So let's see, right? Let's do a recap of what we have learned today. Okay, so when writing a story, first, of course, you have to plan ahead. You need to know what you're supposed to write in your introductions. You need to know what are the things that happen in the story. And also, you have to give an ending to that story. Okay, so that would be the first thing. Okay. And the second thing, you use past tenses. You may ask, why are we going to, uh, why do we have to use past tenses in our story? Because the things, okay, the story that you told other people, okay, must be the things that have been, uh, that had happened, okay, then only you can tell other people, correct? correct. So those story has to be in the past, okay, so we have to use past tenses. And then we have to use linking words to organize our story, okay, so that our story will be more organized so that people can follow the storyline of our story. So linking words are very important in writing a story, okay? And also, we can use the five senses to help us to describe the story so that it can be more lifelike, it can be more interesting, and it can attract the attentions of our readers, right? So those are very important. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, is it necessary for us to use all five senses in our stories? Okay, it depends on what kind of story you're going to write. Okay, for me, I would say like, okay, you can use as much as the senses that you want to put in your story. Okay. But then sometimes, okay, in your story, if it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have a relations with smell, for example, you're not talking about the smell or taste, then you no need to like forcefully put the sense inside it, right, into oh, your story, okay. okay? You just have to pick like, uh, a few senses that you think uh, is a must is in your story. Okay, all right? understood. Thank you, teacher. Okay, all right. So, and then how to begin or to end a story, you have to always look for the indications, all right, or the words that have been given to you, especially in that questions, right, in that story. Okay, so uh, let you are going to see, okay, what kind of situations the main characters uh, actually had in that story. So that will give you a hint of what kind of genre of the story you're going to create. Mm. All right? Okay. Okay. So, next. All right, so let's come to the end here. So uh, we would like to hear from our pupils here. Okay? Uh, ask them, we, I'm going to ask them to share their insight of today, what have they learned from the lessons today. Mm. Okay? So it's also a recap for you, like, to... Uh, Think about it, okay, to uh, recall what we have learned previously, right? All right. Okay, so maybe we'll start with the first one, Trin. Trin, what have you learned today? Without doubt, I've learned something fresh and also useful today. Mm -hmm. um, when writing a story, a complete and also logical background is a must. Mm -hmm. By describing the characters and events in much more details, the reader can imagine and also understand the whole story better. Okay, yes. She mentioned about the logical sequence, right? Mm. That's why you have to use all those uh, linking words to help you, right? To guide you. Okay, Yibun. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to be scared of writing a story before, mm -hmm. but now I don't think it's a problem for me mm -hmm. because I learned a lot from today's lesson. Mm -hmm. First, I know how to plan my story. For example, I know how to introduce my story, mm -hmm. how to uh, set a setting, and mm -hmm. so on. Secondly, right. I know uh, I have learned a lot of adjective today, which okay. I can use to describe the place, the time, or, uh, or the weather mm -hmm. in my story. Okay. Lastly, I learned that uh, I can also add my five senses in my stories, so my story can be more detailed. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, very important to put the five senses in your story. Not uh, necessary to have all five, but you can have a few, right? Okay, and next, uh, Junwei? Um, I have learned a lot of new knowledge in writing today. Mm -hmm. Applying the five senses in a story is the most important thing that I learned today. All right, okay. I will emphasize yeah. the five senses in my essay writing to mm -hmm. make my story become more interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, yeah. Five senses, very important in writing a story. Okay, and how about Lowe? Yes, I have learned a lot about writing skill today. Mm -hmm. Before that, I used to be writing a story in an unorganized way, mm -hmm. but now the problem has been solved. Mm -hmm. As I know uh, how to create a better setting mm -hmm. and plot for my story. Okay. Um, I also learned how to link the story with the words given. 
All right, thank you so much. You are very important. You need to know how to link the given sentence, okay, the sentence that's given to you. But not necessarily uh, they will give you the sentence. It depends, mm. like I say. Because sometimes they will just give you a title, right? right? They give you a title, like for example, a good neighbor. And then they ask you to write a story about a good neighbor, okay? okay. You can also use this plan to talk about your story. Yeah. All right. Uh, Miss Sim, I would also like to ask you, is yes. there any other tips you'd like to share with uh, all the pupils watching at home mm -hmm. uh, for us to score better in the writing segment of SPM? All right. Okay. For writing, very important you have to remember that uh, when we look at the writing, uh, the uh, answers, mm. right? The essays that you have written. Normally, we will check for, yeah, of course, very important. We are going to check for your vocab, your spelling, your grammar, and everything like that. Yes. But a very important thing is, like I say just now, the linking words. So, that tends to, like, uh, uh, pupils tend to forget to use the linking words. It's very important, for example, those uh, conjunctions, sentence connectors, because those are the words that can help you to link your ideas together so that your reader will not be, like, Lost, okay. Right. When they read your story and things like that, so this is very important. Okay. And then, like just now, I've mentioned, um, also the five senses. This is also uh, one of my pupils shared to me because uh, he said that the most important uh, tips, okay, that he wants other pupils to learn as well is uh, the five senses because it helps him a lot. Okay, thank you yeah. so much, teacher. And and what would you recommend for pupils? Like how much time should be allocated for writing? Uh, this segment in SPM. Oh yeah, okay. Talking about the time, yeah, because now this is a new format. Okay. So they have like a, a totally different format from the previous one. Previous one, we have two essays in one hour and 45 minutes. Okay. This time, we have three essays in one hour and 30 minutes. Oh wow. So how <laughs> much would what? you... That means if you would like to like separate yeah. them, right, average like you want to put like 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes for ah. each essay, but that one actually is not enough because okay you need to refer back to the, the words. Right. Okay, we have 80 words, 120 and 200 words, right? Mm. Okay, so you actually have to allocate like maybe 15 to 20 for the first one. Okay. Okay, the second one you allocate like 30 minutes and the last one you can have 45 minutes like that. Okay, understood. Yeah. Well, with that, I just want to say thank you so much, Miss Sim, for today's uh, lesson. And yeah. I'm very sure everyone watching at home as well now has more confidence on answering uh, this part of SPM on yes. how to write a better story. Yeah. So with that, thank you so much for those watching at home. We wish you all the best for SPM. My name is Chris and I will see you again here on Didate TV KPM. Bye everyone!